my dear brothers and sisters in the lord greetings in the matchless name of our lord and savior who shed his precious blood on the cross for you and me to give us life eternal today i am going to share with you a topic entitled let us stop looking backward and start looking forward i am going to divide it in two parts the first part will be let us stop looking backward and the second part will be let us start looking forward so here we go let us stop looking backward the closing and the beginning of a new year brings us to such a point where we can stand and choose to look behind or to look unto the new year in which we are entering many of us enter into the new year with regrets and burdens of the past year it is said that the name of january is from the name of the roman god janus which is known to be the god of beginnings he is understood to be the god of the first hour of each day first day of each month and the first month of each year janus is depicted as a male he has two faces one face looks backward and the other face looks forward there are some people who find it very hard to look forward they always look toward their past and always focus on their past failures in fact they spend the whole of their life in the past there are some individuals who chew or concentrate and grumble on the bitterness of their past other focus on the memories and beauties of their past but enjoy their present it is good to remember the sweet memories of the past but it is bad to remember the sweet memories of the past and fail to work hard in the present for a better and brighter future it is very tragic and destructive to focus on the past negativity have you heard someone say this person treated me so badly in the past that i could never forget him when i think of all those bad things it really boils my blood i can never forgive him these people who always live in their deprived divided past are never able to enjoy their present or their future for such people new year has no significance nor does it bring any change in their lives their bitterness failures regrets discouragements tension frustrations enter with them into the new year let us look at the past year for just a moment for some of us 
द पास्ट ईयर वॉज द ईयर ऑफ डिप्राइवेटी सिकनेस सफरिंग फिजिकल डिसबिलिटी डेथ ऑफ अ स्पाउस और फाइनेंशियल क्राइसिस For some, the year was graced with financial prosperity, success in studies, getting married, overseas travels, meetings with loved ones after a very long period of time, construction of a new home, promotion in the job, or an increase in salary. What were the incidents happening? or attitudes of your relatives and loved ones which become very bitter reality to you and left deep unforgotten impression on your mind does it seem that you will never forget those impressions which are so deep in your soul and mind by the grace of god almighty and with your efforts these impressions can be wiped away to get rid of our bitterness and our dark past we must forgive from the depth of our heart those who have done wrong against us are you not like the roman god genus whose one face constantly looks backward in the old testament the lord took the israelites out of egypt and wanted them to look forward toward the promised land and to keep moving forward but the israelites chose to focus on egypt which was their past criticizing their present situation and absolutely ignoring their future my dear friends where do we stand what is our attitude do you live in the past do you want to come out of your past and live in present and look for the future the choice is yours you can live in the present you can forget the past by the help of our lord jesus christ who forgives us who loves us and he wants us to live freely to live joyfully and to enjoy this life being connected with him and to serve him and to please him so may our dear lord help you to grow deeper and come out of your negative past and live in the future with the master and look for the future may lord help us to live in the present come out of our past and look toward our bright future may lord bless you all and keep you safe under his mighty hands thank you